Twitch, Draven, Cassadin, Jax and many more champions are considered to be racists, pedos and overall horrible people. They have cemented themselves as the worst of the worst, while many others don't have this reputation, even if they are racist in lore or have a toxic player base. But why so? And why these champions in particular? The first one, and probably the most famous reason, is the player base. Even if not regarding toxicity, a champion's image is often shifted corresponding with a famous streamer or generally the player base's actions. Scion players are considered to be goofy, Yasuo mains usually inting and complaining, and Hecari mains... Uh, yeah. There have been many cases of famous one-trick ponies being notoriously racist or really liking kids, so after one or even several influential figures that played the champ develop the reputation of being toxic, it quickly translates to the champion itself. People like Tyler1 and Poran Starzillion definitely contributed to Draven's reputation, but he's a special case, so more on that later. Rata RL played a huge part in shaping Twitch's image, and Cartus mains that don't scroll Tinder really are a breed of their own. This is exactly what Jackson's considered a pedo, as every popular main of his is rumored to be one. Other than the famous Hanshinshin rumor, once about Stevens also surfaced, and there was apparently even a person in Greece that beat up his girlfriend on stream and enjoyed playing with Annie a bit too much. The general public also had a huge influence, as most Kassadin players are extremely racist, while champions like Nunu and Singed are often related to running it down. Furthermore, this is why people like Cookie Lolex and Darkwing Jax didn't scar the reputation of a certain champion, as they weren't dominantly playing one so much that the community connected them together. Luckily, many of the aforementioned have reformed and mass toxicity looks to be controlled more and more. It's pretty wild how the game used to be, as there were whole teams and communities like L9 formed around toxic players that endorsed fans to do the same in their own games. The second reason is the champion's gameplay. Going back to the perfect example of Draymond, one really can't play the champion without being at least angry. And let's not even get started on maining him, as that is borderline insanity. Hello? His passive and the ult stacks just yearn for aggressive racism, while the other abilities just contribute to his aggressive playstyle. His reliance on kills makes the experience even more stressful and the pursuit of securing every last one turns the early game into a make or break scenario. With Draven being so reliant on early resources, a support stealing a minion, let alone a kill, can lead even the calmest Draven player to an outrage. Similar to that, Cartus' kid goes hand in hand with toxicity. The dead singer's passive gives him the ability of disrespecting an enemy by killing him after already dying himself. But this is a double-edged sword, as missing a Q, especially the finishing one, leaves a bad mark in all chat. Twitch's Q on the other hand allows him to sneak up on enemies and smash them as if they were a harmless Lulu. He can either sneak around your team and rain terror, or get caught trying to do so, which results in him raining terror in all chat. It's also worth noting that some champions could be perceived as more toxic because of features like high damage output, high movement speed, high skill ceiling, and probably the biggest one, huge snowball potential. But at the end of the day, it's up to the individual how much the gameplay triggers him, which is the complete opposite of the next point. With Leak having such an expensive floor, it's not strange that some characters end up liking kids more than others. In the past, Karma's design was updated to remove the bindy, while Tam Kench is theorized to be a predator due to his lore and voice lines. Some might find Annie's skins a bit too much, while others deem Pike to be a bad representation of this associative identity disorder. There is also a lot of hate present between regions, as Demacians despise magic users, Ionians and Oxians see each other as subhuman, and other cases of champions insulting each other based on looks or nationality. In conclusion, Draven is by far the worst, he's the perfect example of all three categories. If you want to see me rank all the champions by how racist they are, click on this video and subscribe for all there. Thanks, bye!